Hi, this is Larry Jordan. This is an excerpt from a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at cool effects inside Final Cut Pro 10. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to match color between clips. So, with all that as preamble, let's get ourselves started and let's take a look first at match color. Here we have um, some train footage that was shot by Miles Hale. This is over near St. Louis. And we've got a nice model railroad, except everything has kind of a blue-green cast to it. If we take a look at a different train shot, for instance, this one, look at how much brighter the yellows and the reds are. And, and the gravel doesn't look bluish-green. It looks much more golden. Or this same shot, different time. Again, look at how the trains look more warm. So what I want to be able to do is to have this train, which looks green, look much more like this train, which looks golden. Now, if we understand scopes and we understand how the color board works, it's easy for us to go up to the color board and make adjustments. But for many of us who don't understand scopes or don't have the time, a feature inside Final Cut called Match Color can help. Select the clip, go up to the Enhancement menu, and notice this choice called Match Color. Balance color seeks to fix color casts like too blue, too green, too yellow, that sort of thing. And if all I want is a clip to look normal, balance color is a better choice. Match color, however, gives me some interesting effects, and we'll talk about those more in the next couple minutes. I want to use match color. I'm going to go find the frame that has the color that I like. I'm going to find where that engine shows up right about there. Cue the engine and click. And now notice this button down here says apply the match. Watch the image on the right in two, one, woof. And notice that now the reds are much brighter. Still a little greenish. It isn't exactly perfect, but it's closer. So the way we can adjust this is we go up to the inspector, see where this match color checkbox is. If we uncheck it, that's the shot before. That's the shot now. Let's go up to Projects, and let's load a different kind of match color. These are two scenes that John Putch shot from his trilogy, Route 32. We've got these two women talking, very orange, very rich, very saturated. And this is a, a goodbye scene where she's saying goodbye to somebody that she will miss. Well, this is not bad. This is a little green, but not bad. But Maybe we could give ourselves a different look. For instance, here, let's select match color. Now, what we were doing before with match color is we were correcting a problem. Now, what I want to do is to create a different look. Let's take a look at some clips that we've got here. For instance, maybe I want to take the blue of the spinning globe, click it, apply the match, and notice that now I've got a bluish cast. I can use this to create color effects, or Command-Z to undo. And let's select that same clip. Go over to here, select the clip, match color. Keyboard shortcut is Option, Command-M. And let's take, this, let's take this winter scene right here. And notice how our clip now has a, a foggy grayed back look. Or maybe we want to take something which is more, oh, let's try. Let's try this one. Let's go back, select our clip, Command-Z, undo, match color. Maybe we want to have something which is more orange. See, what we're doing is we're starting to use the color palette of one clip and have it apply to the color palette of another clip. Or let's click Cancel. Let's go over to this clip where she's looking sad and will be gone. And let's... Um, Let's, oh, let's pick something which is a uh, mountain stormy weather kind of thing. Click on match color. Click on the mountains. And notice how we've taken a lot of the richness out. We've taken a lot of the green cast out. We've given it more of a, of a faded bleach bypass look. Or maybe we want to go even farther in that direction and... Command-Z, undo, match color, go with this blue mountain look, apply the match.
What we're able to do is to use the color palette of one clip as uh, informing the color palette of a different clip. Now, could we do the same effect with the color board? Absolutely. Could we do it as quickly? Absolutely not. Our goal here is to use match color to achieve different looks, different effects very quickly and very easily to, to a clip. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at cool effects inside Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 154. By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. A subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, hundreds of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.